Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host Phil from thecage.com. Today I have the Huawei Mate XS. This is not Mate 10S. This is Mate XS. Their foldable smartphone is a slightly upgraded version from the previous one, Mate X. A few basics before we get into it. This is an outfolding phone, meaning unlike the Galaxy Fold, which a screen folds inwards, it's gonna fold outwards. And since this is a Huawei phone, which is banned from American companies to get export licenses, it has their own app store called the App Gallery. It's known to not have any Google services on it. You should be able to manually install them somehow, but at least with the factory status, it doesn't come with anything Google, even if you get this outside of mainland China. All right, so this is a packaging. This is an international model bought from Hong Kong. And right under the lid, there is a device itself with a pretty extensive list of warning. This product is a foldable phone with flexible screen. Please pay attention to the following. Firstly, this does not come with weather protection, so don't let any water get into it. Secondly, it's a delicate device, so try not to drop it. Thirdly, it comes with dedicated protective film, so don't try to peel that off. And last but definitely not least, do not fold or unfold the phone when the ambient temperature is 5 degrees Celsius or lower. That's a pretty big deal because by the time that this device was launched, the ambient temperature at the Chinese capital Beijing was lower than negative 5 degrees Celsius. All right, so we're going to put the phone right there. You can see that I'm being extra cautious because it is an expensive phone. It's retailing at around 24.99 euros, which translates into around 3,000 bucks. And since the stock is so limited, they're putting some premium on it. I had to pay like $3,500 for it. All right, next we got another precautions. And under that, you have a very nice guide of how to fold and unfold your phone. Inside, the packages starting from the bottom left this is a charger the mate x when initially launched was known to be fastest charging 5g phone and this is still pretty fast charging with 55 watts of supercharge thus it has a pretty bulky charger and it's in white this is a 2500 euro phone and they did not even match the charger and the phone's color that's a little disappointment and we move on to the headphones and voila it's also in white and it comes with that known huawei headphones design that resembles heavily of the apple ear pods with the usb-c connector of course because this foldable phone does not come with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and here's another packet with the sim card tray removal pin on top and a case more of that later there is a quick guide on how to install the case onto the phone warranty card and the manual and at the very end we have the usb cable that's usb c to c all right now the phone itself again this is a foldable phone an outwards foldable phone one of the very few um there is a royal flex pie there is known to be the flex pie 2 and this is pretty much the only other one what you see here is 8 inches of 2480 by 2000 pixels of OLED panel. There's no on-screen fingerprint reader. It's integrated to the right-hand side power button right there next to the volume rocker. On the left-hand side, there is a small pit that's going to engage with the little guy right here that's going to lock the hinge. And since we're already on the back, there are four cameras, 40 megapixels of wide angle that's like it co-engineered, f2.4 of telephoto lens, f2.2 of super wide angle, and finally 3D TOF lens along with the LED flash and Leica logo. On top, you got the SIM card tray along with the NM card slot. Now, what is an NM card? It's their own version of microSD card that looks just like a SIM card. There's virtually no other company than Huawei that uses it, so I'm not a huge fan of it, but Huawei seems to be. On the bottom, there's a speaker, microphones, and the USB-C port that, again, charges with 55 watts of output. The device has booted up, and this is the screen. We're gonna just skip some steps, and we are in the main screen. Now, this is when opened up. You can just close it, just apply some force, and folded in half and it's going to shrink to a normal phone size. So this now is a 6.6 .6 inches of screen. You can use it just like any other phone. And even when you're ready in an app, you can just press the button on the back. It's going to flip open. It's not the most elegant way, but it does its job. And you can expand it further to a tablet size screen. Some apps are well optimized, like the messaging app that splits in half to list and message. I'm pretty sure email app looks pretty nice and the calendar app, no, not really. It's just plain old calendar app. But again, you can just fold it and it's gonna shrink to another side. Now, I know that the biggest competition is gonna be the Galaxy Fold. So here it is, the first generation Galaxy Fold. Now, the biggest upside the Mate XS has over the Galaxy Fold is, of course, the gigantic screen when folded in. Compared with the dialer with the white screen, you can see a thick bezels here and there. The Galaxy Fold's external screen is so small that I had to open it virtually any time I use the phone, say, longer than five minutes. But the Mate XS has a lot larger screen, and when opened, it's got an uninterrupted view without the notch. But as a downside, there is a thicker part on the right-hand side, so when you put your phone on the desk, it's not going to be completely reliable. And most importantly, when folded, the Galaxy Fold's inner screen should have much better chance to survive. When in idle, you get always on display. You can turn it on and swipe up to launch camera. And as I said, it's got three angles. There's wide angle, telephoto, and super wide. 
Now, the interesting feature over here is that you can use the other half of the screen to show the person standing against you what I am looking for. So you can tap the button and turn on the secondary viewfinder. That's pretty neat. And it goes the same with the selfies. You can tap the button over here and you can use the other half of the screen to snap selfies through that 40 megapixels of Leica co-engineered camera or any other angle, actually. If you really want to, you can do it to do anything else, too. Now, looking at the hinge, since this is a Mate XS, an upgrade from Mate X, they changed the hinge mechanism a little bit. They now have this thing called Falcon Wing. They feel pretty much the same, but Huawei claims that they're much sturdier now. The Galaxy Fold hinge still feels much sturdier though. Enough with the interesting features and hinges, let's get to the basics now. It's got Kirin 995 g up from Kirin 985 g 8GB of RAM and 512GB of storage along with the Android 10 and 4500mAh of battery. The software surprisingly doesn't seem to be that interesting though. There is a color mode and temperature, you can switch from normal to vivid to color temperature of any spot that you want. There's the eye comfort mode, the blue light filter. There's a screen resolution, I've set it to smart but there is high standard to low. And finally there's a folding screen option, but the only thing inside that is called app scaling and you can decide which of the unoptimized apps are going to be forced into the full screen but interestingly most of the apps over here are their own air measure browser email files huawei video they're their own apps pre-installed but they're not optimized the following apps have not been optimized for full screen display that is very unusual they do work fine i think there are some of the glitches Going on to sound and vibration, there's silent mode, uh, Huawei Hisen, Hisen sound effects, more sound settings, vibrate on touch, notifications, nothing special, battery, there is the power saving, ultra power saving, storage, 512 gigabytes, I still have around 500 gigabytes of left, security, you can register your fingerprint, there's the app twin, you can duplicate some messenger apps that does not support multi-login. That is, if you install the apps that you want. As I mentioned from the very beginning, it does not come with Google Mobile Services, the biggest hit would be that you have to rely on Huawei's own app gallery. And trust me, there are not a lot of apps here. Now with that gigantic screen, surely you can use it with the split screen. You can pull from right or left hand side and just drop it with the floating screen or make them split and you can adjust the ratio over there. Now the Mate XS is a very interesting device. It's a very costly phone, but Huawei claims that it's losing some money, actually a lot of money each time they build one. And yet there has been numerous reports of people breaking the Mate XS's screen. And that's one of the reasons I'm being really delicate over here. Um, I don't want to break this before I publish my review. And the crease in the middle is already pretty big. But don't get me wrong, I do like the styling, I do like the way it feels when folded, I do like that it's got a bigger screen than the Galaxy Fold when folded. It is a heavy phone at 3 299 grams, but the Galaxy Fold is by no means a light phone, although it is 20 grams lighter. Literally the only thing I'm worried right now is its integrity or safety or whatnot, especially when the case it comes with is this flimsy piece of plastic. How you do it is that there are adhesives on the case, you can take them off and attach it to the phone. Now this isn't anything special, Samsung does the same with the Galaxy Fold, you have to use the adhesive, but let's just try to fit it in for now. You start from the outer half and you get to the other edge and you try to make it roll through that falcon hinge. All right, this is what it feels like with the case attached. You have all the openings, the power key volume rocker, the USB port, speaker, microphones, SIM card slot, two additional microphones and the camera, it all looks like this. Uh, they look pretty nice, they feel okay. They're not premium, they're just pieces of plastic, but with all the parts having to be opened, I can understand that this was their only way. It does provide a little bump from the screen surface, so when put on the table, it's not gonna scratch as much, but honestly, when you drop it, it's not gonna give you that much protection. Nevertheless, the Mate XS is a revolutionary device in a way. With the pricing, it's definitely not for everyone, and even if you had that money, the availability seems really limited. With the company claiming that it loses money every time they sell one, I assume it's one of their strategies not to sell that many. All right, so that was the unboxing of the Huawei Mate XS, one of the very few available foldable smartphones, especially in this size. We'll come back with the review very soon. Stay tuned, and if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.